Close encounters of the third kind. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Um, okay, so again, it doesn't say any... It doesn't give us any movie info. On the back, other than that Steven Spielberg did it, he read it, directed it, and Aliens. Not the Proven Clock Sing the Third. No. Um, it's a great, holy crap, it's a great movie. Oh, oh, okay, oh, I guess two hours of it, two hours and 17 minutes of it was a yep. great, oh, 137 minutes of this great movie. <laughs> There were, I think we laughed way too hard at some parts. Yeah. Like when he was throwing plants in the... <laughs> that part was funny. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but no, um, I believe that there's aliens out there. And for this being made in 1977... It was crazy. Like, the special effects are crazy. The special effects for its time <laughs> are so freaking good, you never would expect that. Oh, my God, no. The cinematography in this and just the, the, the shots that they do on location are so good. Uh, the, the UFO spaceships are so freaking cool. And... The aliens themselves, when they finally reveal themselves, yeah, I, I thought they were gonna be cheap looking, honestly. For no, a they were they were months. really lifelike looking. Oh my god! But yeah, that's no, that's something that you would expect from uh, Steven Spielberg. Now, you never saw this before, right? I have not. No, this okay, is my so first this time this was it. your first time seeing it, and. This was not my first time seeing this. I have seen this before. It's It's been a long time, though, since I saw this. So I thought this would be a good movie to watch uh, since Kevin had never seen it. And I'm so glad you liked it. Oh, my God. I loved it. Um, it just, like, the music was good. The cinematography was good. Yeah, the music was done by John Williams. Yeah, I, and I love how uh, Hooper was in it, too. Uh... Richard Dreyfuss. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, because th this is around the same time. Um, it actually says um, in here, um, it's a production of the, of the close production of close cowards of the third kind began December twenty in December of nineteen seventy five, and then he actually it says Steven Spielberg had actually begun working on a. Uh, the film while in post-production of Sugarland Express and the con and the continued conceptualize it, it during the filming of jo so he 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 continued the concept the conceptualization while filming Jaws. Wow. So I guess he was still making this movie while making Jaws. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty amazing to do but if anyone can do it it's, it's steven, steven freaking spielberg right yeah no that's crazy which makes yeah no that makes sense why and i'm surprised he had hooper in it like i said uh what i forget his name already richard Dreyfus. R yeah richard Dreyfus, and he's, he's in that can you just imagine like being like all right i'm gonna have you in another movie while filming this movie another one another one I don't think I could possibly say a single bad thing about this Oh movie. my god, no. Other than it kind of started out a little slow. It did. I noticed. But it's one of those movies that if you pay attention to the beginning and the middle, it's worth it in the end. Oh yeah, definitely. And with that being said, it's a perfect 10 out of 10 for me. I don't know about you. It was a perfect encounter. Of the third kind, if you ask me. You see what I did there? You see what I did there, audience? You see what I did there?
All right, guys, that's going to do it for this review. Am I getting too close now? Am I getting too close? Craig, I see you sit your ass down. We're not done yet. I, I have been the king of games 97, 8, 23, 4. That's where I'm changing my name to because I completely forgot it was 98. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time. Shamalama Ding Dong.